Hey there, Alan Matthews here. In this video, we are going to talk about descending slurs, also known as pull-offs. And why are they pull-offs? Well, quick definition of a slur. A slur is where you play more notes in the left hand than you do in the right hand. So you articulate one note in the right, with the right hand and then play another note or multiple notes with the left hand by either hammering on, which is in a different video, or pulling off, which is what this video is all about. Not only are these a musical device, and you'll see them in, in music all over the place, then you'll also find that they are one of the best exercises, especially these, the pull-offs, are one of the best exercises for your hands to build control and strength and dexterity, stretch, flexibility. They are, if, if I only had one uh, exercise to do, this would be it. To start off with, this is how to do them, and then we'll talk about how to use them as an exercise. First off, it's I happen to be in the middle of the neck right here. It doesn't matter. You could be up here. You could be up here, anywhere you like. It's just I'm right here at the fifth fret because it's, it's comfortable there. It doesn't matter. So you start off with two fingers on, and this is the important part. Put both fingers on. They're on the same string, and then pull down and in to the next string. It's not this flipping up into the space, or just lifting, that's not it. Um, uh, sometimes you do that on other instrument or other types of guitar, a lot, you'll see a lot of that. That's not how to do a good pull-off. A pull-off is down and into the neck. So you actually articulate, you're actually playing the note. And so then that is a full pull-off. And so that's basically the thing. Keep your hand in a nice C shape all the time, it'll be much easier. If you get too compressed, like if you keep your thumb up here or something and then you're playing like this, it's gonna be very difficult to pull off because your fingers won't have anywhere else to go. So the best shape is going to be in a C shape. Now also, as you do this, what you might find is that when you pull off, that you, pull, that you bend the string. And the way to counteract that is to push with the, fi in the finger, I call it the back finger, the one that's on the lower end of the, higher in space, lower on the guitar, lower sounding note. So instead of just pulling here, you're also pushing here. So there becomes this, this twist thing that's going on between the two fingers. And that really helps to make it where you can really hear the note. You can actually make the pull-off note louder than the, um, than the original articulated note. Now, in music, what you'll hear is oftentimes is that they're kind of bright sounding. Like it can be bang, it can be kind of a little bit tinny sounding. And that's, you can, you can play with it, but just sometimes that's just the sound they make. And we try to make them as beautiful as possible, but sometimes it's just, you're gonna not have the same tone as your beautiful stroke um, with your right hand. So it's just, you have to take the hit. On the other side, it can really add for speed and also for, um, kind of a, a different feel to, to the things that you're playing. To use this as an exercise, you can just take any two fingers, always start with the three and four because they're kind of the weaklings of the bunch. And so just start with them every time and just go in absolutely steady time. One, then move both over and then play. And if you add, need to add an extra beat uh, in there, like three, four, three, four, Four. To, if you need to add that time to move, then do it. But eventually what you want to do is one and two and three and. So that you're just going up and down through both directions through the frets. And then you can either move up a fret or you can go to a different pair of fingers. Of course, the different pairs of fingers are one and two, two and three, three and four, three and one, two and four, and four and one. And so then you would just go through all of this, all of the strings up and down in that in this way. The main things to remember, if you want just the cliff notes, um, prep both fingers to begin with. So prep two fingers to begin with, and then down and in is the way to do the pull-offs. In actual pieces, you may it may be more of kind of a, a a scoop up thing, but as far as practicing them, practice them with the integrity and the and just the principle down and in, down and in. So these are descending slurs, also known as pull-offs. Hope that helps. Have fun. I'd practice these like 
all the time. They are just great for the hands. So enjoy. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.